I'm really excited to be sharing with you about two ebooks that I'm working on that should be released here in the next couple of weeks and maybe a month uh, based on how they're spaced out uh, for sharing. But what is really neat is I want to be able to share with you the process I use to make them. So I'm here in my home office and this is one of the areas that I work in the evenings or late at night on projects where my brain is kind of going and um, I just have to flesh things out and start working. And so what's neat about this ebook is that it was created right here on this iPad mini. Um, I looked into a lot of different software that's available. I tried iBook Author, I looked at Lightroom and exporting uh, PDF from that software or to Blurb from there. And I really found that the easiest way for me to create a media enhanced ebook was on the iPad itself. And there's really great software that I found for it called Book Creator. And today I want to show you how it works and what's available to you in Book Creator. Uh, but here you can see right in Apple iBooks, um, in, the, in the book software, I've got my ebook that you're able to flip through. Um, and it's got media enhancements like video. So you just touch on the video here and it plays right inside of the book, which is really cool, but it also has audio features. So before I show you some of these uh, videos here uh, about how to work within this software, I wanted to give a shout out to Mark at Paradox Visuals who helped me with some of the um, color grading and the touch-ups for this photo book, uh, The People of Pelawan. And he did an excellent job. I, I feel that the look that he gave the photos brings it together as one story. And it really, I think the look that he created embodies the mood and the feeling and the atmosphere of the people of Pelawan. So Mark, thank you so much for your help with this project. Um, and here we go, let's go into this book and I'll show you how to work with this software a little bit. All right, so here we're looking at my iPad screen and you can see an app called Book Creator that I downloaded from the App Store. And opening it up, you can see some of the different books that I've created. And I can't go into all the details of what I've done uh, because the app, while it isn't f um, fully loaded with features, there's enough of them that I can't do it in a concise way uh, for a video like this. Um, so I'm going to go over a few of the, the things that I liked about the app for being able to create a multimedia ebook that can be um, saved as a PDF, an EPUB file that can be used for Android, uh, or it can be uploaded to the iBook store. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit new book and show you that there's a few options that you can choose from portrait, square, or landscape. And I choose to do the portrait on the first book that I did because it flips really well inside of the iBook interface. Um, the landscape kind of moves back and forth to, to display the pages and it's a little bit uh, disconcerting as a viewer. Uh, but there, there's a few ways to get around that. You don't have to have the pages side by side. Uh, and then that just you know slides through almost like it's a, a keynote presentation where you're only looking at one page at a time. Uh, but for this, I'm going to go in and uh, I'm just going to pull up a book that I've already been working on. And here uh, is a book I've been working on called Faces Book. And it's all about faces and what we can learn just by looking and um, just by looking at somebody's face and reading into uh, what the scene is and the way that their face has been weathered and the story that is being told by the expression on somebody's face or in their eyes. Um, over on the right hand side, you can see there's an arrow and that allows you to advance back and forth. On the last page, it'll be a plus button that'll allow you to create a new page. And here you can see I've been able to insert uh, a video. Uh, this is a text box here where I'm able to type in welcome video. And down here I've got this uh, logo and that's able to, if you look at the top of the eye, I can add a hyperlink to that text area or a, the logo and I can make it link somewhere so that when somebody's looking at the book, if they click on it, it'll take them right to the page. Um, so I've laid this out kind of like a, a typical book, but I wanted to do a welcome video as well as a tutorial so that people could learn how to interface with the book. One of my favorite features about this software is the ability to add audio to the book. 
So you can either have it, you can read what's on the page and, you know, they can hit a play button and instead of having to read it, they can just listen to it being read to them. Or in my case, what I did is I chose to use it uh, to talk about the photo um, that are on the page. So somebody clicks on it and it talks about uh, this man on the left and the girl on the right. So I was able to make it into kind of an enhanced ebook. Let me go ahead and let me just start a new one here. I'll do the portrait in here so I get to choose what I want to use for a cover and I can go through my photos and choose a page that I want to use for my cover photo. I just kind of resized it by dragging the corners until I got how I liked it. And I clicked here, said add text, and I just typed in faces book. Done. And so here's what we can do with the text. If you hit the I button at the top, you can choose the size, color, and the font. And what I like about the text is that it's based on your box. It'll, uh, it'll fill the space. All right, so I can't see it, but on the right-hand side, there's an arrow to change a page. Here is a brand new page. Uh, I can choose the color uh, for each page independently. For what I was doing, I wanted everything to be black and clean, so I'll, I'll do that here. Uh, but then you can add a photo. It's really nice. You just grab one of the corners here. I'll grab the bottom right corner, and I'll just resize it. And then if I want to center it on the page, I can drag it. And it's got nice locking and snapping features to be able to center it right where you want on the page. Adding video. My process is to save video to my Dropbox. And then from Dropbox, download them, tell them to save to my photo library. And then that puts it into my photos so that I can add that video from my camera roll right into the book. A couple of neat things you can do with the video is you can change the poster frame so that uh, that's what shows up as the image for the video. So that's some of the interface that I've used. When I built the book, there's a couple things. I just want to point out the differences between the landscape or if you did the portrait size books and the way that they work. Um, here is a version of the Pillwan book where they're single pages. So they flip and they slide. The one thing I didn't like was the flashing kind of between them. Here it is viewed with two pages side by side. And here's where you can see how they sling back and forth. But for this book, I really wanted to have uh, landscape pictures and really blow them up large. So I'm willing to either work with that or with the flashing. I haven't decided the actual output yet. And it can change too, because when you're in Book Creator, I'm gonna flip back now. When I go back to my books, I have a few options. I can, um, under I, I can choose display if I want side by side, if I want to show the book's border, if I want to lock the orientation. Um, so there's a couple of options that I can choose when I'm doing that. So this is just some of the cool tools made available for you to create a book. And really, your imagination can go you know, crazy because you could design all of it in Photoshop and just import the images as pages that are beautifully designed and then drop them in here and just spread them out on the pages and you've got a, an ebook just like that. So that's how easy it is to create an ebook using an iPad. It can be delivered in PDF format, EPUB, and in the iBook store. So I encourage you to take a look at my ebooks when they come out. I'll be releasing links to it. Uh, one is the People of Pelawanhoon and that's in Sierra Leone, and the other is called Faces Book, and it's about the story that you can read just by looking at somebody's face, the, the way that life has treated them, or by the mood or look that's in their face and the story that it creates. Um, I'm really privileged to be able to tell their stories, and I think that they have, the people have really awesome stories to tell, and so I'm privileged, like I said, to share that with the world on their behalf.